therefore is an addition to what has been spoken now is a beginning again now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen and the bible said for by it the elders obtain a good report through faith we understand that the world we are framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen we are not made of the things we do appear forget about the matter of Eben I don't want to go there because when we go to the matter of Eben it goes beyond faith the writer of the book of Hebrew only captured faith he did not capture the other economy that warrant the acceptance of the sacrifice of Eben because if I want to criticize Abel, I will show you that Cain had enough faith as Abel had. No man bring a sacrifice to God without faith. In fact, no man appear before God without faith. But faith are in measure. All of us appear here because we believe one way or the other in the sweet by and by that is a God in heaven. And that God answer prayer. But although we appear within the corridor of the mountains of Zion, our faith are in diverse measure. And so, what hinders Abel and K, what hinders Cain in keeping to Abel was the impotency of his faith, number one. And number two, because God decided to show Abel mercy. Because, you see, when God decide to love. Be the one God wants to love. When God decides to show mercy, be the one he wants to show mercy to. Because you cannot understand why two people do the same thing and one prosper, one fail. Sometimes it's not a matter of faith again. Another economy is in view. But I'm trying to let you understand that in the confines of the genesis of the operation of faith, first of all, you must believe that there is something that exists that you are looking for. If you don't believe that it exists, why are you praying about it? So, faith now is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of what we can't see yet again. Although we cannot see it, we have a confidence and assurance that by this same faith that we are talking about, elders have obtained a good report. And when we talk about elders, he went to begin to mention unto you the elders. When you go down what you realize that Abraham got something by faith. In fact, the Bible says Abraham believed God and it was counted for him as righteousness. So in the days of Abraham, what you call righteousness was not believing in Jesus. It was a work of faith. Because there was no Jesus to believe in. There was no need for a born again experience. So the importance of faith has the ability to even hinder salvation. Although Jesus Christ is made available. You don't understand the statement that I just said now. Salvation is made available. But because there is somebody that believes that it's almost impossible for him to be saved. Although salvation is made available, he can still not be saved. Why? Because you require faith to be saved more than salvation itself. The genesis of salvation, sir, is not righteousness. It's faith in a God that can save. So faith now is the substance of things who fall. The evidence of the things you can't even see it. Agreed, you can't see it. So if you can't see something, natural tendency is that you should doubt it. I cannot believe this thing exists until I can see it. I agree. But because by this same testimony of faith, we have the approval and the episode to read of elders, our fathers, that have obtained a better report. And that is why I want to let you know that one of the reasons why in every territory, in every region, at least God will have a witness. It's not because God wants to do a show. It's to prove that he can do it through men. Because if there is no somebody that actually has gotten what you are praying for, you can't even have the faith to pray for it. Do you know that our mind works in a reflect way? If I say phone now, you can think about phone. If I say cow, you can think about cow. If I say chalk, you will remember chalk. Blackboard, you will remember it. Car, house. 
What if I say, I'm looking for a word that when I say your mind will be blind. And the reason why it's blank is not because it wants to be blank, but there is no memory for it to possess. Hey. God loves you. He doesn't want me to confuse you. What if who has a child? Almost every Chinese name, so people know them because you watch Chinese movies. I'm looking for a word. Give me a word that doesn't look as if it exists. Eh? What? Heaven. Ah, heaven exists. When we say heaven, all of them are holy now. What do you mean? Hi. That's one thing about being a preacher. Sometimes it's hard to even look for a thing that doesn't exist within the kind of scripture. It's very hard. Everything in my mind now is just terrible. Okay, give me a word in a language that you know that people can easily understand. Eh? You say? Rest. Rest if saluquito. You are the only one that knows that one now. <laughs> so, you now see now, me and you don't even understand what he's saying. We are looking for interpretation now. So, this kind of communication now, no matter the faith you have, it's a waste of time. Because it's only him that knows what is rest in saluquito. I don't even understand. So, me and you will say this is a tongue. When an angel utter, mene mene take care Now, as I say it now, you already know the interpretation. Why? Because it has been read. But this one he say now, nobody know. So, because of this, there is no power in what he said. Even if there is power, the power is only to him if he has the revelation. If he doesn't have the revelation, he's still wasting his time. You see why one day the Lord appeared to me and said, Philip Cephas. You have spoken so many tongues. You need to interpret them. Interpretation of tongues will make you more powerful than speaking in tongues. If you have been praying in tongues and you have never once upon a time gained interpretation of those tongues, your faith can still be weak. Let me tell you, many of you, you have interpreted tongues you don't know. There are moments and time you are praying in tongues as you are praying in tongues, right? Then, light and revelation begin to flow. I get to the point now. As you are praying in tongues, now, it's as though, although you are praying in tongues and you are still hearing something again and you are praying. Most of those things you are hearing, my friends, they are actually the interpretation of the tongues that you are praying. So at that time, prayer increased, the prayer strength increased and the prayer become more beautiful and grace is supplied faster. Answers to prayer come not because we pray in tongues, but because the tongues are interpreted. Because they will remain a conundrum, a mystery until they are interpreted. And that is why, according to scripture, in fact, when somebody pray in tongues, somebody should interpret. So you see where those people got that in. But you see, what they don't know is that interpretation to tongues doesn't have to be explanation. Because God can choose to interpret my tongues by myself into my spirit. When light and revelation float into your spirit, right? It's the interpretation of the tongues. Because what Daniel needed was not the prayer, was the light and the illumination. Immediately when the light and the illumination come, even the king not understand what to do. A king can have a dream. How many of us had a dream? We know it, we wrote it down. We don't know the interpretation. Spiritual things must be interpreted. Now, faith is the substance of things that we hope for. And these things that we hope for, they may be very hard. They may be tongues. They may be possibilities hidden and locked upon. It's okay. But there is an evidence of things that we may not see, which we should doubt by default that we have not seen it. But he went further to let us know that by this thing, the elders obtain a better report. That through faith, imagine now, through faith, we understand that the whole world was framed by the word of God. Now, I want to take you further to understand why many people's faith is handicapped. Your faith can be handicapped because it's not resident upon the word of God. 
faith does not exist in a vacuum hear me faith exists upon the strength of the word of god they cannot understand the mystery of how the whole world was framed but we understood that it was because there was the word of god in the beginning the speaking of god create and sustain creation hebrews chapter one god who was sundress times and in diverse manner spoke in time past to our forefathers by the prophet he has in this last day choose to speak to us through his son whom he has made heir of all things upholding everything by the word of his power so you must be able to understand that the potency of the operation of god upon the face of the earth it does not hinge only upon faith but upon the word of god and when a man knows the word of god so much faith is sustained as a foundation by default no wonder our father bishop david read the book you now see that a ministry based upon the word of God has faith by default. I'm not talking about Logos, Rema. I'm joining with you from Logos, showing you how interpretation is needed upon everything that is written that cannot be understood, right? But when you advance to light and revelation, you begin to gain access to faith. Because what you need for miracle is faith. Faith must be present for miracle to happen. But the faith must be in a measure sufficient enough to receive why god has blessed us with all spiritual blessing but in heavenly places in christ jesus everything you and i are looking for exists in a place in christ it is my job and your job to bring it to this realm and we trap that by an economy of faith mercy grace favor bring you closer to a point where you assess it it's just a catalyst to push you closer but you require those economy of faith to assess anything why God is spirit and whosoever that must come to him must believe.